Hi, Munsif M. Ahmed here. In the last video, we had a discussion about the introductory part to the RAL. Then we discussed one important question. And the question was, why backdoor access is faster compared to the front door access? Then we also discussed the responsibility of predictor and adapter. Now in today's video, we will try to understand the types of prediction. As in the last video, we had discussed the responsibility of predictor is to update the real database registers. And this mechanism is called as prediction. And there are three different ways of prediction, three different types of prediction. First one is implicit or auto prediction. Second is explicit prediction. Third one is passive prediction. We will try to see all these prediction methods with the help of diagram. Before moving to this, let's have a discussion on different register values. So whenever we are defining a register and adding it to the register block, the simulator maintains four different values. What are those values? Reset value, value, mirror value, and desired value. The reset value, the name itself suggests that with the help of this, we are resetting the register. Now the value, the value is nothing but a RAN type property. So in a future, whenever we are, when we want to randomize, we can randomize this value. Now the next two values are mirrored value and desired value. So the mirror value is exact mirror image of DUT register content. So for example, if DUT register consists of five value, then this mirror value is also equal to five. This is what an exact copy or mirror image of DUT register will be. The next is desired value. So the desired value is nothing but the value with which we are updating the real database <coughs> DUT, uh, DUT registers in the future. After prediction process, these two values, mirrored value and desired value will update it automatically after front door write and read access okay now we will try to see the different types of prediction what are different types of prediction with the help of diagram so first one is implicit or auto prediction it is default for every simulator and this prediction is happen automatically that's why it's called it's auto prediction or implicit prediction and with the help of set auto predict within parenthesis one we can enable this or within parenthesis if we give zero then we can disable this now we'll try to understand with the help of this diagram i have taken this diagram from uvm cookbook i acknowledge their work now we are <coughs> defining a register sequence and the information contained in this register sequence the real database register will update it so what is real database register? It is an exact mirror image of DUT registers and memory. Okay. So with the help of this register sequence, we are updating this real database registers. And with and this register sequence, we cannot directly drive to the driver. So first, this register sequence need to be converted into the bus sequence. And with the help of this adapter, we are converting this into bus sequence. Bus sequence. And the driver responsibility uh, responsibility is to drive this sequence to the DUT. First, it will get the sequence with the help of sequencer and drive this to this sequence to the DUT register. And this DUT register and memory will update you. On the on the other hand, the monitor will capture the same information and broadcast this to the multiple components like the scoreboard, coverage collector. And reference model with the help of analysis expo so this register sequence first converting in the bus sequence and with the help of this register duty registers will update but the problem with this auto prediction or implicit pre prediction is that each and every time we need to define register sequence only if we define a bus sequence then this register database will not update only this DUT register will update with the help of the bus sequence. So each and every time we need to define the register sequence. Now the next 
prediction is explicit prediction in this the advantage of explicit explicit prediction is that it will work fine with both the sequences if we are defining a register sequence then with this the duty register will update the uh, uh, register database will update and with the help of adapter we are converting this register sequence to the bus sequence and driver drive this uh, information contained in the sequence to the DUT and the DUT register will update. And on the other hand, the monitor will capture the response which, hand, which has an analysis port and with the help of this analysis port, it will broadcast this data to multiple components like predictor, scoreboard, coverage model and reference model. And inside this predictor, one register map is there, which is not shown here. An adapter is there. So it has inbuilt export with the analysis export. With this, it will get the bus sequence and it will convert this bus sequence to the register sequence. And with the help of this register sequence, the register database will update it. So if we are defining a bus sequence, if we are defining a bus sequence, then it will also it will work. And if we are defining a register sequence, then, then also it will work. So this is what an advantage of explicit prediction. If we are defining, it will work with both the sequences. Okay, the next is passive prediction. So the difference between explicit and passive prediction is that in passive prediction, we are not defining a register sequence. We are just defining a bus sequence. So the driver drive, driver first get this bus sequence with the help of sequencer and drive this to the DUT and DUT register first update and monitor capture this with the help of analysis port. It will, uh, the predictor will get this with the help of analysis export and the, adapt, uh, the predictor consists of an, an adapter inbuilt. With this, this bus sequence will uh, uh, convert into equivalent register sequence and with the help of this register sequence, the information contained in the register sequence, the register database will update. This is what the passive prediction. So in passive prediction, just we are defining a bus sequence. We are not defining the register sequence. This is what the different types of prediction. So I hope with this, you have understood the concept of predictions, different types of predictions, and an overview of prediction, what prediction is all about. So the process with which we are updating a real database registers, it's called its predict prediction. And we are taking a help of predictor which has inbuilt adapter so the adapter responsibility as we already discussed in the last video that it will convert the bus sequence to the equivalent register sequence and vice versa so with this i hope you have understood the concept of predictions and different prediction methods so thanks for watching thank you